I'm studying grade five. Yep, you heard it right, grade five. Look at all those reactions. Some are like, oh, he is so cute. Some will be calculating in their heads. Grade five, 10 years, what? 10 years of his existence and he wants to talk here? LOL, jokes apart. Can you guess what I'm here to talk about? What inspires me? No, no, no. It's not any life experience, just 10 years of existence. What do you expect? I'm here to introduce you to a bizarre, magical, microscopic creature called tardigrade. Tardigrade, I'm inspired by science at large, and there are so many phenomena and creatures that continue to amaze me. One such creature is tardigrade. So my friends, let us dive into the brilliant world of the tardigrade. Tardigrades are tiny creatures also known as mo moss piglets or water bears. They are so tiny, you need a microscope to be able to see them. But despite being smaller than a poppy seed, tardigrades are pretty fierce when you view them up close. They have sharp teeth and dagger-like claws to tear into and suck the juices out of moss and algae. They were first described by Johann August F.R.M. Goes, who called them little water bears for their resemblance to the furry predators. The Italian biologist Lazzaro Spallanzani named them tardigrada, which means slow steppers. Tardigrades can be found mostly anywhere on Earth, to icy Antarctica, bubbling hot springs, the Himalaya mountain range to the bottom of the sea. Now that we've understood what a tardigrade is, where it can be found, let's dive into the interesting part about these little fellas. So, I'm sure that you all know visiting space comes with a lot of challenges. Time and again, we humans try to visit space or send other animals to it. Sometimes in space shuttles and in actual space, we have to wear space suits due to the low pressure. And we can only survive a few seconds in there. That is true for all other animals, except tardigrades. In 2007, scientists placed these tiny creatures into special capsules, which shot them into space, about 167 miles above sea level. Tardi the tardigrades after 10 days, came plummeting back down. Upon inspection, most of the water bears were okay. They had survived radiation blasts 700 times more than sun's rays hitting Earth. And, now, and the tardigrades are also known as the most strongest creatures on Earth who can survive in space. Another interesting fact about tardigrades are they can go without water for a very long time. You might be asking, how? How can a tardigrade survive in, without water? They curl up into a quite dry ball called a ton. The body system of the tardigrade slows down, but it isn't quite dead. No, the tardigrade can survive like this for a decade. How and why? The tardigrade can survive uh, th this extreme hibernation described by science scientists are called cryptobiosis. Tardigrades, when re-exposed to water, come out craw crawling fine in just a few hours. A hundred year old moss was kept in a museum and re-exposed to waters. The water bears came out crawling out fine. So, Tardigrades can survive radiation blast, dehydration, extreme temperatures, air deprivation, high, low, high pressure, both low also. Now, the question that might come to you all is, are tardigrades immortal? Of course not. We talked about a tardigrade achieving a ton state. However, if the specimen does not achieve the state, they act as fragile as any of us and die pretty quickly. Tardigrades can survive. Tardigrades can do this. Let's say 
we expose them to a icy cold temperature the tardigrades who do not achieve the tall state they die pretty quickly but the ones who do they survive you might be again asking that why does a tardigrade need such a robust defense strategy when it's only a millimeter in size it's about adaptation isn't it tardigrades need to adapt to occasional droughts sure they might have overshotted by the potential of space travel but the important thing is they address their main threat and face the challenge and set a more better course for the future that i think that's a nice way to sum up of what being resilient means this my friends is inspiring to me the ability to bounce back after being given challenges this reaffirms my faith in what doesn't kill you makes you stronger the resilience has always been there it was most talked about in post covid the tricky thing about this is you need to put yourself under extreme conditions just like our friend the tardigrade unless you face adversity in your life it's unlikely you've come across the opportunity to gain resilience i must admit i did learn this the hard way i will now share with you my story my mom and dad had encouraged me to participate in a school elocution competition i was a little apprehensive at the start but you know that look your mom gives then it just better to participate i started to enjoy the overall experience and gave my 100% day and day i used to practice the day of the elocution came i was so happy and excited but also a little nervous i gave my speech well and received an applause from my friends and teachers i surely had thought i had won one of the three medals the day of the winners were announced turns out i had not won one of the three prizes i was a little sad unhappy and angry i came home and asked my mom and dad see this is what happens despite of my hard work and studying every day the speech i don't get anything in return my mom and dad calmly said to me you have struck gold for us you have won today you fell a few times but you learned to walk back up today you learned resilience similarly if any of you had a few bad experiences how will you learn and grow if you have a few bruises here and there such things can quickly heal and the benefits of ongoing learning through along the journey of life are immeasurable setbacks and disappointments are a part of life overcoming them and facing them that's real resilience once i learned the meaning of resilience i started to join the dots and relate that is when the tardigrade stood out for me look no beyond my friends even the minutest creature can teach us life lessons if a tiny creature like this can thrive in so many extreme conditions or hyper temperatures then we humans are definitely more intelligent and more capable of facing the challenge and coming out stronger if you any of you are going through a bad day and have your head above water i hope you can remember my tarty great story and with the shoulder of steel and mental toughness face the challenge and come out stronger may the force be with you all thank you everyone